Hello and welcome to this DTG instructional video. Today we will be covering how to clean the white ink lines on your DTG kiosk or other direct to garment printer. Are you experiencing poor nozzle checks? Is your white ink printing strong at the beginning of a print and then fading out? Many would say that this is a print head issue, but oftentimes it's not. It may be the lines and dampeners linking the ink bottles with your print head are beginning to clog, just like the arteries of your body would clog with cholesterol. White ink has to be shaken two to three times a week due to the elements that make it vibrant, settling to the bottom of the bottle. The same process is happening in your white ink lines and dampeners, clogging the arteries that are feeding white ink into the print head. Does this mean you need a replacement print head? In most cases, no. All you need to do is flush the buildup in the lines and your printer will print like new. Today, we will be covering this process. We will be showing you a DTG kiosk with white ink. While the tools and steps may vary between machine, the principles will remain the same. The first step, of course, is to power down your machine. Then we loosen the plate that sits over the print head, freeing the area containing the lines and dampeners. On this unit, there is one screw to the left and to the right of the print head carriage holding the plate in place. Loosen, but do not unscrew these two screws. Once the plate is loose, lift and tighten one screw to hold it in place. Then unclip the bundled ink tubes to gain access to the dampeners. In this example, we will be cleaning the gray white ink line. The reason they are labeled gray is because the printer is based on an Epson 2200 and therefore used to have a gray ink cartridge. You will find the corresponding label on your white ink bottle. Remove this white ink bottle from the ink tray, moving it down to the print bed area. By placing it on a lower plane than the print head, we allow gravity to help the remaining ink from the line drain back into the bottle. Place a paper towel in front of the print head carriage to mop up any spilled ink. To remove the dampener, we use a pair of needle nose pliers. Grasp the tube in one hand and the main body of the dampener with the pliers. Then gently wiggle the dampener out of its place, being careful not to puncture the dampener's thin plastic membrane. Then unscrew the nut securing the tube to the dampener. Pull the nut back on the tube to expose as much of the end of the tube as possible, being careful not to lose or damage the small o-ring on the tube. Taking the syringe provided with your package, fill the syringe with air, then slide the ink tube into the syringe. Using your thumb and forefinger, press the two tubes together, securing the connection. As you press air into the tube, the remaining white ink will drain back into the ink bottle. Using the cleaning solution provided with your kit, fill the syringe with roughly 30 milliliters or one ounce of fluid. Now, replace your white ink bottle with the waste ink bottle provided in your kit. Taking the dampener end of the ink tube, secure it to the syringe once again. Now you can begin pumping the cleaning solution through the tube. You will begin to see this sediment in the tube clear away as the cleaning solution does its job. Now remove the syringe from the ink tube to fill it with air once again. Once filled with air, Secure the syringe once more to the ink tube and push air through the line, cleaning out any excess cleaning fluid. The line is now clean. Before reinstalling the dampener, clean the excess ink from around the print head dampener connection using the swab provided in your kit. We recommend installing a new dampener after cleaning the tubes. 
Attach the new dampener to the ink tube and secure the nut. Grasp the tube at the end of the dampener and push the top down with your index finger to secure it back in place. Remove the waste ink bottle and reinstall the white ink bottle. Secure the ink tube bundle to the top of the print head carriage. Fold the top down and tighten the two screws back in place. Now power up your machine and press the ink fill button, priming the tube and allowing the white ink to flow back to the print head. Now continue to perform head cleanings and nozzle checks as needed until solid nozzle check lines are visible. To clean the additional white ink lines, repeat the steps outlined in this video.